Yo, what's up? This is the Batman Beast, Marcus Bremich, and I'm here for MMAfighting.com interviewing the sexy Ariel Hawani, and I just want to get his take on that sex-ass fight between the Batman Beast, Marcus Bremich, and Jimmy the Kid Hedda. So what, are your, what were your thoughts on it? Well, I thought you uh, performed fantastic. Uh, that was one of your best performances in the UFC, particularly because you were wearing this contraption, yes. which uh, I'm not quite sure is uh, legal by the uh, Ontario Athletic Commission standards. <laughs> I don't know if that gives you any extra advantage, so I'd like to ask you that question mm -hmm. what exactly are you wearing on your head right now because I've never seen this before well thanks for asking this right. <laughs> is a Dragon Ball Z power level scatter and everyone knows that Quentin Rampage Jackson and Dragon Ball Z are the reason I got into MMA today so at the weigh-ins I was able to check Jimmy Hess's uh, power level I saw it was over 9,000 so I was like yo I gotta use some KO Ken some Kamehameha's to win and I did and I'm reading your power level right now it's pretty yeah. disappointing you need Whoa. to go to the gym really yeah you need to go to the gym uh, what am I at huh what am I at you are at 97 and in comparison because I have no idea what you're talking about I actually have a life and I go uh -huh. out and I do things what is your level uh, uh my level yeah. huh, can you can you read me you want to read me well I don't know what yo you got just put the just oh, put it okay, on hit yeah, the button you got... wow I get to wear this yeah thing. you get to wear all right all right boom right there now I want you to hit the button okay and then oh, wow. look at me yeah what now what is my power level this five really <laughs> Marcus, can I take this over? Yes, you but can. can I keep this? Oh, yeah. You keep it for the end. Yeah, I got, I got, I got rep that. That was a fantastic performance, as I mentioned at the mm -hmm. top, particularly in the second round. Talk to us about how you got out of those, uh, those tricky situations there with the the figure four body lock on the ground. It looked like he was close to submitting you with the RNC. Uh, yes, he was. Um, he was pretty close, but uh, my jujitsu instructor Charles McCarthy from American Top Team, uh, he's been working me so hard in jujitsu that um, when he got me on, I was able to just be calm and like get myself off now when you got like a 230 pound black belt on you throwing all type of submissions on you you start to freak out but when somebody else is like 145 you're like oh dog get off me you know what i'm saying it was a lot it was a lot less pressure so i wasn't freaking out like i usually am did you feel like he was gassing out as the fight went on that he was getting a lot tired uh i actually i don't know if he was i was praying and hoping that he was you know um he was coming at it i was very shocked uh, at his hands because he was throwing with me i was throwing back um i was just able to uh, negate his uh, judo because the way he was tossed around there fam i didn't want that to happen to me now this question is from uh, Joe Blow, 1976. He's talking to me via the uh, okay. system <laughs> here. Kind of, yeah. uh, how are you going to celebrate tonight? Because in the past you've talked to us. Hopefully, I'm a little afraid to ask this question, so hopefully you give me. The, but uh, any special plans here in Toronto? You, you it's know, a very nice city. You know I'm gonna go there. You know I'm gonna go there. Well, you know, maybe the PG version, if you will. Uh, what's PG besides white girl wasted? I, I don't know the PG first. No. On cue, someone just dropped a. Yeah. A train. You know what it is, then. That's what I'm saying. So, you know, hey, Toronto, hide your chubby white girls from coming through. <laughs> and, and, and final question. I mean, you, you continue to be an underdog in the last two fights. Pretty big underdog. Do you mm -hmm. think you're finally going to get the respect from the odds makers in the UFC here? Uh, probably not. It's going to be the same thing with uh, Maximo Blanco when, you know, Obviously, Maximo was overhyped when he fought against me. You know, now they're probably going to say Jimmy Hess was overhyped. But it don't matter to me. My coach, Chris Conley, he loves it because every time I'm an underdog, he puts money on me and I triple his income. You're welcome, coach. <laughs> and shout out to my strength and conditioning coach, Tommy Elliott, for keeping me sexy. You know, the chocolate Adonis. You see that? There we go. Okay, last thing. Uh, Quentin Rampage Jackson is going to be on my show in studio on Monday. He's falling on some hard times. Anything you want to say to Quentin and we'll show He's, uh, this to him. Is he, is he like coming in? Or in, in, in New York Dude. City. Oh, in New York. It's yeah. too far. I'll you be. You want to come? I, I'll, I'll still be here uh, getting white girl wasted. Anything you want to say to him, though? Um, hey, Quentin, man, I love you. Keep your head up. Wherever you want it, wherever you want to do, man, I'm your number one fan. I'm with you. Can I be in Expendables, too? I mean, uh, can I be in 18, too? Can I be in 18, too? Okay, I just want to be the boy that just says something and keep walking. I just want to be in the movie. All right, Quinn, man, I love you, man. Whatever you want to do, I'm your number one fan, baby. Congrats, Marcus. Always good to see you. Thank you for letting me wear this. This is top five, at least, highlight of my career. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you, it. man. Hey, thank you for having me on, man. I greatly appreciate it.